guys. I'm Tracy and this is Clara. Welcome to Tracy from the Mermaid Co. I kidnapped her against her will. But yeah, say how are we doing, Clara? How are we doing without our Oscar? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. Of course, it's hard. Um, my regular tripod broke. <laughs> tripod broke. <coughs> original one so I'm using this other one that I used to film different things so there's a two tripod kind of grow but I'm gonna go get a new one I want to get a ring light but anyway hello I'm here with I feel incredibly disorganized shocking the flyers out who lives for this who gets it and studies it So I'm very excited. And then of course they have their little, um... oh my goodness, I get dismissed. They have a little list of things. So, you know, cause everything's like a description. So the list, right? So the ones that um, have been marked out like that, I've gotten. And then I have little um, checks of the ones I want to try. So, welcome. I am going to take some water. Oh, I forgot my spoon. Okay, well, all right. <sighs> yeah, so I went to Trader Joe's. I'm going to break it up in two hauls. It just seems like people like smaller hauls, so and it's okay. But taste test. So, this is the breaded ravioli there's gonna be a picture on my instagram with like i told you i am super super duper unorganized with the trader joe's pizza sauce and i think this is like 2.99 or 1.99 i just buy it every week now i love it i, love, I haven't made a pizza with it yet but it's good in dipping stuff and um it's not a super a lot but <coughs> yeah so if you guys haven't tried it tried it it's 10 ounces I wrote the thing on here, but yeah. So anyway, in another haul, I'll tell you the price. And then the raviolis. So actually, let me try one without anything. These were prepared in my air fryer. They're good. Especially dipped in pizza sauce. I'm kind of hungry. You know, I've heard people think they're bland, but what I would suggest is put a little um, red hot pepper flake in the pizza sauce so you can get a little heat. There's a restaurant around here called Lido's Pizza and they have them, <coughs> but inside they have green chilies. It's, it's almost a little too hot for me, but, so maybe Trader Joe's will come out with one of those, the ones inside hot. Anyway, it's a water kind of day. I went and I got some tulips from my Oscar. I'm not crying right now, but I'm, not, I'm really struggling. It's hard, he's my, constant companion when I'm home, you know, cause he wants food and he sits on my lap and he's just very loving and just by nature. Claire's a little more standoffish, you know, but she's loving in her own way too, but it is just different than Oscar. So it's, uh, it's hard, but I got some flowers for him. Are they pretty? Just simple, little tulips. These are $5.99. Again, you guys, if you don't go to Trader Joe's, <clears throat> and you have one near you. Well, probably if you're watching this, you do, but just go for the flowers. I mean, for six bucks, you can bring a little piece of sunshine home. And you know, and up and up it goes. You know, they just have, I don't know a lot about flowers, but I know it's pretty and I know it makes me happy. So yeah, I would 100% suggest. Definitely. I don't get them every single time just because, you know, I'm trying to watch my pennies and, um, you know, but... My mom loved fresh flowers and she got them all the time. So really it's an homage to my mama. All right, onward and upward. 
tangerine juice, you know, you know, four forty nine, and I um, get it every other week now. So I make this last two weeks. <sighs> Liquid sunshine, one hundred percent tangerine juice. You guys, maybe I'll just do a little thing for my Instagram. I can't. Okay, so. This is the mango tangerine scented candle. This is all the rage. They're talking about like it reminds them something of anthropology. It's $3.99, right? I don't know if it's one of these. I guess it's, okay. Lead-free cotton wick. Who would think there'd be lead in a cotton wick? Good God. A natural coconut soy wax blend. It smells really good. So next time I'll light it before I, uh, my second haul and let you know what I think of it. I'm not, <clears throat> I love candles, but I don't, I forget to light them quite honestly, or you have cats, you don't want to, <clears throat> so I kind of light them and leave them in my kitchen sink. Just a little paranoid, right? And some boring stuff, Boro. Um, red onion, 99 cents. Uh, this one is just a yellow, uh, no sweet Vidalia, I think 99 cents. And this just white one was 79 cents. My friend from my mom's recipe box is coming over Saturday. We're going to film it. She's going to teach me to make her vegetable lasagna and it is so good. I'm so excited. So she said onions. I didn't know. So, you know, you can always use onions and everything. I said, I'm going to do it. I did it. Every time I'm getting one of these pineapple spreads. You know, I'm not taking them all. I'm gonna get one. I should just order a case. But three forty nine. You guys, have you tried it? Let me know below in the com in the comments below. Let me know if you've tried it oh and why you haven't tried it. Come on. And while we're at it, I appreciate. You know, I've got new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. And um, of course, I have my OGs, who it's always fun to spend time with and read your comments. And yeah, so if you're just looking through. Just go ahead and, um, you know, subscribe and do a person. You know, we need to pay the kindness forward, right? The world just seems to be collapsing, so you can pay your kindness forward by clicking on subscribe and the bell and the like and make a comment and share. Okay, I've been hearing all about this. The, look how beautiful, I'm going to just say this. Look how much fun the font is and all the different, love it. Absolutely love it. So it's called Synergistically um, Seasoned Popcorn. Now, that movie popcorn, y'all, if you haven't tried it, I know some of you tried it and love it now, try it. It tastes like movie theater popcorn without all the oil and just yucky stuff. <coughs> Though I do love movie theater popcorn, too. Are y'all ready to go to the movies? Let me know what you think. I'm not sure about that. I would go maybe on a matinee when nobody else is around. Okay, so it's tangy, it's salty, it's smoky, it's spicy, slightly sweet flavors. Okay, now the whole rage is, right, that you do this. I don't like it. I like my bag to open. So that should be a good shake -in. Okay, it looks all the same, which is interesting. Right, and this was $1.99. A lot of their stuff like that's $1.99. Oops. Uh-oh, Claire won't eat that Oscar wood, but... Ugh. Okay, so it all looks the same. So you can't really... Like on the patio potato chips, you can kind of figure. So that's kind of fun. That one's spicy. Hmm. That one's a little spicy. I don't know what, like, are they using the flavor in they sell? Yeah, they don't say cayenne pepper, garlic powder, salt, garlic powder. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Let's try another one. I think that one's tangy. This is slightly sweet. That was smoky. It's a little hot. Um, I think this is fun. 
do taste tests and share with my friends. But I'm not sure I would buy this all the time unless I was having people over and they wanted to try it. I enjoyed my movie theater popcorn. So, okay. Another taste test. And I think this is in the flyer. 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 Yeah. So next time I'm going to, maybe I'll do a thing on my Instagram, like a picture of the flyer and then what I got. Okay. So this is cold pressed juice watermelon. I don't usually buy these things. This was, I think, $2.99 or something. It says watermelon juice red fruit and white rind lemon juice okay probably huge in carbs yeah 32 and 140 calories for this beautiful little cheers it tastes like watermelon it tastes like you know when you have a bowl of watermelon cut up and then at the end, there's just the juice left. Tastes exactly like that because that's what it is. I'd probably rather eat watermelon, but it you know a cold a cold a cold hot day. On a hot day, this like slushed. Oh, I put it in the freezer and get it slushy. Remember this cool cups you could get and they were like ice they were frozen and then you put them in and the stuff gets slushy oh i used to love those this would be awesome also a little bit of vodka yeah that'd be good so that is i'm gonna go ahead and give this a 10 for what it is i'm not sure i would drink them all the time but for what it is it's a 10 100 percent okay i'm gonna make it slushy oh i love that claire do you want to come back on camera yeah, you want to just be ridiculous? I'm trying to get her to make me go viral, but... And I could be home with her, but she don't get it. I just needed some good old sour cream, two twenty nine. I have, from my regular grocery haul, I'll show you this. It's, it's onion um, mix dip, but it's just like five ingredients. So I got this so I can make it. So I'm going to do that another day. Now, here I am without my spoon. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause you, hold on, I'm back. This is Belgian chocolate pudding. My friend asked if they still had it, so I got it for her, but I wanna try it since I'd never tried it. It's 349, it's 16 ounces, so that seems like a lot. Um, 3.5 servings, 270 calories. Um, you know, there's a few things in it, but nothing terrible. It's Trader Joe's, right? Now, we've been trying the, um, Hershey's the, from the regular store. There's like it's like it's like pudding, like chocolate pudding, and has little crunchy things of Hershey's. The pudding is so good for what it is, and the white ones. Oh my god! So if you guys see them, they're called Colliders. You get two, I think, for two fifty. They are yum. If you're not a big, if you're not a pudding snob, are you? They're good. All right, let me. This is. It's different. I can see why she likes it. It's less. It's Belgian chocolate. So it's a little less sweet. Maybe the chocolate. Tiny bit bitter. I'm not saying it's bitter. But I'm saying she's getting the rest of it. Give me my Hershey's. Okay. Anyway. So again. 349. That's for my friend Beverly. Okay, as God is my witness. Y'all are my witness. This is the Baby Shanghai Bok Choy. And you get three of them. $2.69. Now, one of my meal planning this week is going to be... I have the miso ginger soup. You, you cook that. You put this in it, right? And then you add dumplings, which I have. So I'm going to actually do a little quick thing on that when I make it. I'm probably gonna make that Thursday, right? I'm not in the mood to cook. I'm not in the mood for like really heavy things. I'm just not, my poor Bubba, I just can't. So 
I thought, you know, that would be lovely. I wonder if, nah, I, I have those like noodles I need to do something with, but nah, I think that's fine. I, it's, there's somebody on um, Instagram, and I'm sorry I can't think of it, but she does like three ingredient meals, which hello, three ingredients. So, and then I have to figure out how to cook up the rest of this, right? They work with a lot of Asian women, and I'm going to ask them what they do. What they would do with all that bok choy. Okay, where are we? I got some good old bananas. They're organic. They're 25 cents a piece. Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy likes to know the difference because it's such a big difference. And this is Trader Joe's Artisan Style Bread. Organic French Bagel. And, yeah, I mean, it's not made with a bunch of stuff... But I thought that it feels dense instead of like light and airy. I have those things I got before. They're the marinated mozzarella balls. And I just thought I could cut these up, toast them, heat that up on it. And that would be like a good meal. So that's meal idea too. My friend does that. So bread and that mozzarella. And even like if you had a little bit of... um thin ham to put on it or pepperoni. I pepperoni. Got yourself like a little something going on. Anyway. It's good. It's a French baguette. But what I like about some of Trader Joe's bread, they're denser. There's something about it that like doesn't want make me want to eat the whole loaf. Right? Because you get some of those and you got and they're so easy to eat. They're light. And then what I think I'll do, it's just a little bit more. I will um, slice it up and I'll make myself a little French toast. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Did I find the Ubi ice cream or did I not? I found it. Ubi. Ube. Purple yam flavored ice cream. Purple yam. Only Trader Joe's, right? Only Trader Joe's. Okay, this is $2.99. Uh, so per serving, which is two thirds cup, you know, one day I'm going to put it in two thirds cup. I want to see what like an actual serving is 200 calories. If you eat this whole thing, it's 610. Again, there's three servings at 200 it should be 600, but it's 610. I'm just fascinated by that math. Okay. So let's see. It's melting, which I hate. Okay, you got it. Oh, I got you. I got a whole nother thing not to get that chocolate pudding on it. Okay. It's melt. It's like melting, which I don't love. Okay. Purple. That should my. I wish my hair. It's a good color hair. My first time ever trying it. I did not get on the, the bandwagon last year. It's good. I mean... It's just a different taste. Trader Joe's ice creams are so creamy that, you know, like the Southern peach one is so just creamy. I'm gonna give it a 10. I would buy this again. Am I gonna be nuts running around looking for it? Probably not. I'll be just devastated when it goes away, no. But for now, yeah, so if you haven't tried it, like me, try it this year. And maybe I'll be eating some pancakes on my next haul. Will I or won't I? I don't know. So yeah, so that's just a few of the things that I got. So get you all the flyer. And then my mom, we would get it in the mail. And we would look at it and read it and circle it. And she had a different color than I had. And we both circled it. But yeah, so, I mean, a lot of this I've already had. The strawberry and vanilla flavored pretzels. Next time I'm going to get the organic sugar cones. Uh, let's see. What haven't I gotten? I'm not sure about that ketchup with the truffle. I don't know. I'm not the biggest truffle person. Uh, let's see. A lot of stuff like the barbecue pulled chicken I want. The carne asada authentica. Uh, I got the crispy jalapeno cases, which I'll be giving away. Um, yeah, so there's all kinds of Ubi ice cream. 
Yeah, and um, the, the oat fudge bar, the tangerine bars, I got those. I'll try that next time. Yeah, and uh, the vegetable kebabs, the shrimp kebabs. I mean, they got all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I am, I'm all for this. So, yeah, pick it up, y'all. And, yeah, so let me know. What are you looking for? What did I inspire you? You want to go get now? What have I not shown that you're like, girl, hop onto the Joe's and get this immediately. I might be going tomorrow because I have physical therapy for my TMJ and my neck. I said eight, I got 8.40, so I have time. And I thought I might go and get a couple, just like I get like this and some of the treats, the ice cream treats for work, just to treat everyone. Yeah, I'm that kind of girl. So anyway, if y'all were here and you stopped by, we'd have some taste tests. That would be so much fun. But we're doing it this way. So thank you guys, and I appreciate your support and um, your nice comments about Oscar and my, my video. And yeah, it's good for me to talk things out. And sometimes talking one-to-one -one in person with someone is hard for them, you know, when someone's sobbing. It's hard enough to watch, but... You know, when you're in person in that energy, it's just, it's hard. And I don't want to do that to anyone, though. I cry all the time. So, it's just hard. Yeah, it's hard. But he's worth it. Every ounce of pain I'm feeling has been worth it for, because that's kind of, because he's such an amazing little fur baby for me. Anyway, thank you guys. And please, share me. I'm that, that kind of girl.